So I did my master's in actually achieving world-class service and using systems to help you achieve that world-class service. That's interesting. What would they, what would they teach you in that course? Well, what it, what it was was there's pretty much three, three areas that you had to focus on. The first was your people. And to be able to achieve within the framework of world-class service, your people had to be buying into the vision. Second was your systems. And the systems are there to support the people, whether it be accounting systems or CRM systems or, or even just procedures you do. You're going to let them flow and make them work. The third part was all about the strategy and how you're going to do it. And um, one part is having a plan, mm. but putting it into action yeah. is the harder part. Yeah. You know? And so I went out to about 17,000 uh, service organizations to try and pinpoint this and did all this uh, correlations and quantitative analysis. And How would you do that 30 years ago, pre-internet? Well, I was quite lucky that internet had just been coming about and the universities were all into it. Uh, I did mine by fax. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so imagine faxing 17,000 organizations in this database yeah. And that, yeah, that was part of part of the craziness. But we did have the basics of internet coming on board then. And also, too, is I then did a big case study on Rambo Zen. Rambo Zen was in receivership. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the guy, Barnes, who brought it out, he brought it for a mill, and he wanted to sell it for 10 mil in three years' time. So we went through and implemented what our theories were in achieving world-class service.